All right, folks, here to break down two sleeper running backs heading into the NFL draft. I'm joined by Jeff. Jeff, you want to talk about one of your sleeper running backs heading into the NFL draft? And by the way, folks, we're talking about veterans today, not the rookies coming in. So we're talking, breaking down the veterans. So who's the veteran running back you got your eye on, Jeff? So my veteran uh, sleeper running back this season heading into the draft is Zach Moss out of Cincinnati. He is vacating Joe Mixon's spot um, last season. Well, he did start eight games, ended up having a career best season. Um, in those eight games, he had four top 10 finishes and two top five finishes. Um, so when given the opportunity, he has done, um, have scored the points, which is what we want in a sleeper. He has that track record heading into a new season with the new regime, play with this new team in Cincinnati. Um, Joe Mixon in 2023. Uh, was 11th in PPR points per game and 12th in standard uh, points per game, which equated to six most running back points last season. So he's going to take that role. Um, so with him taking that role, I think now he will be given an opportunity to show what he's able to do. Last season on PPF grades, he was a, he was a darling, so to speak, um, with a lot of uh, percentages and grades that you wouldn't expect from a guy like Zach Moss. Um I know last season with the Colts, they were out of shotgun and 11 personnel a lot. And when they were in that formation, he had the fourth most explosive runs from a running back. And I think that's just what's going to vault him to be a sleeper next year and take the Bengals to what they want to be um, going into next season in 2024. Absolutely love the pick. Big on Zach Moss. Now the Bengals do have 18, 49, 80, and 97 in the first two days. So they do have an extra third round pick to potentially take a running back. But I do love it. You just broke down the vacated opportunities. 321, by the way, from Joe Mixon. That's a lot of touches. Even if you throw some to Chase Brown, you know, Zach Moss still has a lot of opportunities to grab with the Joe Mixon departure in 15 games with the Colts, where he got 10 plus opportunities. He's averaged 13.6 PPR points per game. That would have been good for top 24 numbers last season. And here's another nugget for you. Zach Moss last year was averaged 5.1 yards per attempt in gap schemes. The Bengals last year were top five in gaps runs. I love that fit. I'm all in. Let's jump down to the next one. It's Rico Dowdle. Now Rico Dowdle, I think is probably the Cowboys are probably taking a, I, they're taking a running back. I, I have a feeling. But if they don't, just come back to this video. Let's talk if Rico Dowdle's any good. Well, first off, the Cowboys have 24, 56, and 87 in the draft. So, And listen, their history is on their side. Zeke Elliott has been a first-round pick with the Cowboys. We understand that. But if it doesn't happen, the question is, is the opportunity there? Yes. Tony Pollard vacated 319 opportunities last season. And then in the four games where he actually had 10 opportunities in a game, he averaged 10.8. PPR points per game. That's not too great. That's like RB3 numbers. But in three of four games, he averaged over 12. And that's RB2 level numbers. So in three of four games, 12 PPR points. He has proven when he gets double-digit opportunities, he can be impactful for fantasy. You can get this guy with your last pick right now in a top 150. What's your thoughts about Rico Dattle? Is he on your radar if the Cowboys pass on a running back early? If the Cowboys pass on a running back, as Jerry Jones has said, I'm all in on this roster, and I'm all in with Rico. Um, he's going to get all those touches. And what more do you want uh, from a Cowboys running back that historically has proven a top 10 running back year after year? Love it. Well, that's all we got today, folks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go follow us across the board at Razball Fantasy. And make sure you follow us, too, at Bobby Lamarco, at Jefferson, double underscore 21 on Twitter. Oh, I nailed it, folks. That's all we got for today. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share. We are out of here.